Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam Rasulullah. The praise to Allah, the thanks to Allah. And we start in the name of Allah. And today they said, let's talk about Allah. It's a good subject, isn't it? Why do Muslims say Allah? That's a really good question. And then one time, I remember one of the experiences I had when I first became a Muslim. Somebody said to me, how come you guys don't say God like normal people? This is what he said. Why don't you just say God like normal people? I said, okay, well, let's look at that subject. Because I had to look at it too when I came to Islam. Do most of the people on the earth say God? He said, yes, of course. I said, I'm not sure that's true. Let's look at some numbers and try to figure it out. How many people live on the earth today? Hmm? About six billion. And how many of them speak English? Um, not even half. Oh, okay. In fact, Arabic is one of the languages that's around the world. A lot. A lot. Let's check this out. If somebody's a Christian, do they all say God? He said, of course they do. I said, really? Did you know that most of the Christians are actually Catholic in the world today? If you want to take one group only around the world, it would be Catholic. He said, I didn't know that. I said, well, you could check it out. Not only that, but most of the Catholics, if you take one language only, are going to be from Latin, either French, Italian, or Spanish. And none of them use the word God in their language. They might know what you meant, but when they write it in their Bible, they will write Dios, Dero, or their word for God, but not G-O-D. She said, I didn't know that. I said, well, wait a minute. There's more. If you go to Russia, they have another name for God because they speak the Russian language. But did you know that Muslims, all the Muslims in the world, say Allah? And how many Muslims are there? Well, you might be surprised to find that 1.5 billion all Muslims all say Allah, even though 88% of them are not Arab. One area of Muslims, the most concentrated area of Muslims, is actually a series of islands called Indonesia. This is where the bulk of the Muslims are, and they don't speak Arabic language, but they say Allah. And in the Arabic Bible, there are Arab Christians. He said, I didn't know that. I said, oh, yes. The Arab Christians say Allah. And there are Arab Jews. He said, no way. I said, yes, of course. There are Arab-speaking Jews. And they also say Allah. I have an Arabic Bible at home. And on page one, page one, you will find the word Allah 17 times. I copied that in a copy machine and then circled it and put it on our internet website. We have an internet website where you can see all of the things that I'm telling you in our little programs. The website is called whatsislam.com. That's W-H-A-T-S, no apostrophe. Not what he is, just what's Islam, I-S-L-A-M dot com. And this is where you'll see a picture that we took it. You can see, we circled in the Bible where it says Allah. Also, if you go to any hotel or motel and then go in the room and you pull out the drawer by the bed, you'll find a book in there. Not the yellow pages. Somebody already beat you to that one. But the Bible, they didn't take that. They left it. Look at the Bible placed there by the Gideons and turn just a few pages. You'll see examples of the translations they've made to many languages. Afrikaans language is number one, which is similar to German language. And then the next language is Arabia. The Arabic language is there. And you will see that they gave a sample of John 3.16 of the New Testament. For God so loved the world. And in Arabic it says, 
For Allah so loved the world. It has Allah there. Alif Lam Lam Ha. Why? Because that's the word that the Christians who are Arabs, they use that. And by the way, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, spoke Aramaic language, which is a twin sister language to the Arabic. And also, these are sister languages to the Hebrew, which is the language of the other prophets, because they're Semitic languages. And all of them had a form of the word Allah. Elah, Allah, Allah, Allahi, all of these words, very similar. And when you're saying them to an Arab, he will say, I got what you mean. I understand what you're saying. And one of them is Elohim. And if we said Allahumma, oh, I know what you mean, Allahumma. We're calling on Allah. And Elohim is the same, calling on Allah. This is Old Testament Hebrew. So why do Muslims say Allah? Well, that's his name. In fact, in the English language, you don't have a word for Allah. You have a word for God, but anything can be a God. Somebody could worship a tree, a rock, a stick, a stone, a bone, a statue, a human being. They could worship an angel. They could worship the moon, the stars, the sun. And people did that. In fact, the original Catholic Church that existed even before the time of Jesus was the Roman Universal Church. That's how you say the word universal in Latin, Catholic. So the Roman Universal Church allowed people to worship any kind of gods. And in fact, Constantine, who presided at the Council of Nicaea in 325 AD, was a sun worshiper. He worshiped the sun. That's why when they took over this one sect of Christianity, they forced them to change the day of worship from Saturday to Sunday, because he worshiped the sun on Sunday. These are little known facts, but you can find these out by visiting our websites and get more information about this. So why do Muslims say Allah? Well, because we have a word for God. It's Elah. Elah is the word for God. But we have a name for the one almighty God. We don't have to use the game of uppercase and lowercase letters. Is it God with a big G or God with a little G? No, it's very simple. We have a word for God, Elah, and we have the name of God, Allah. And we say, La ilaha illallah. There is no God except Allah. And by the way, Elah means an object of worship. So we translate it often as, there's none worthy of our worship except the one almighty Allah. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, the praise to Allah who made us Muslim. And visit our website. Don't forget our other website at www.guideus.tv. That's guideus.tv. We're waiting for you. Peace. Salaam alaikum.